So in this video, we're gonna run through the refrigerator um, that's uh, installed in the uh, Selwood models. Um, this is a, a Dometic. Um, it's uh, powered by your battery system. So 12 volt DC um, is how we have it wired up in the trailer. So as long as you have 12 volt power to your trailer, this refrigerator will be powered up and, and running um, when it's powered on. So to open the refrigerator, you've got a lock handle up here on top. So you're gonna pull that lock handle out and then pull the refrigerator towards you. That will open up the refrigerator. Freezer area is located in the top. Then you've got these nice shelves that, that you can put into many different positions depending on how you want to organize your refrigerator. So they slide out and slide in into all these different positions. Got some crisper drawers here on the bottom. And then all the controls are located here on the left hand side. So you've got your power button here and then your temperature button. All of your status lights and everything are here on the left hand side. And we'll walk you through how that operates. There's also a vent feature. So while you have the trailer stored and you're not using the trailer, you can roll this um, lock vent up here. It's like kind of a locking mechanism into the vent position. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna hold your door open slightly. So you won't get um, mold and mildew inside of your refrigerator. And for standard operating, you'll just roll that dial over to the right and it's ready to use for standard refrigeration. So here are the controls for your refrigerator. This button here on the left hand side, as you're looking at it, is your power button. So to turn the refrigerator off and on, you're gonna hold that power button for a few seconds. Right now the refrigerator is off. To turn the refrigerator on, you'll hold the button for I think three seconds. Now your refrigerator's powered up. It's gonna go through a little check mode, a little self check. This is your status, refrigerator's operating. This is your tempera temperature. Your button for setting the temperature is here on the right. And that can be selected by just pushing that button until you're at the desired temperature. Um, you know, the snowflake is maximum. Typically like to run the refrigerator one step above maximum cool. And that'll um, keep your food nice and cold. Still run the, the freezer and all that good stuff. Um, so here on your operating panel in here, um, on the right hand side is your is your temperature setting. Right now we're you know one step above maximum cool. Um, when you have this in maximum cool, it'll almost freeze things inside here. So we like to keep it kind of uh, one step above. Um, if you hold the temperature button for three seconds, it'll light up this light down here. And what this light is is um, winter mode is what they call it. So, um, you know, it'll run the refrigerator according to like the ambient temperature. Um, probably not necessary in the Selwood because, you know, if you're camping in here, you're gonna have your, your furnace on and things like that. Um, but, you know, it's good to know that you do have that mode if you, if you need it. Um, so we're gonna deactivate that mode and run it in just normal operation. Your status light is here. Right now, blue, everything is good to go. It's cooling. And then of course, if there's any other questions, you can always feel free to reach out to us uh, at our sales at aeroteardrops.com email or give us a call at the shop um, and we'll uh, do what we can to help you.